Why? 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 So we're like how many months in the mastery right now? So yeah, I hopefully you don't need me to explain what the tri brigade monsters do and the the standard ratio of a tri brigade monster you see in every single tri brigade variant, along with the twelve hand traps and the three back removal cards, lightning storm and duster for the stun decks. And we're also running the branded engine in this because I think the branded engine is insane, and you just get two free cards plus a mirror jade out of it. Even even if Verte were to be banned tomorrow, I would probably still run the branded engine in Tri Brigade because, again, there's two free cards you can just put back with Fair Jeet and Bear Broom. In fact, that's exactly what I did during Link Festival, and it was actually my second best deck behind uh, <coughs> Fusionless Dragon Mate. <coughs> Okay, so what really separates this uh, Tri Brigade variant from others is that we're not running something like Cat for our normal summon. Instead, we're running the Ancient Warrior package. Three Sun Mo and one Jugu Kong. To briefly explain what these cards do, basically, well, you can send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard and you add an Ancient Warrior monster from your deck to your hand, so you add this. Then if this card is added to your hand by the effect of an Ancient Warrior monster, you can special summon this to the field. And then, because you activated this uh, Druga Kong's effect to special summon itself, you can then target a monster your opponent controls and bounce it. So, so why is this good? Well, one of the big weaknesses with most Tri Brigade variants is that they get hit hard by a lot of hand traps and it gets compounded when you run a card like Rescue Cat because Rescue Cat is the ultimate hand trap magnet and if you get your Rescue Cat hand trap then most of the time your turn just ends because it just costs your normal summon and you don't get any more Tri Beasts into the grave. With Sun Mo, the part where you can send a card from your hand to the grave Imagine if you have like a kit or a Nervo in hand and you can send one of those cards to the grave while they are at the end's effect. Then you give your opponent and basically two different spots where they have to ash you, but they can only ash one obviously. And it's really actually difficult for him to, to know which, which exact card to hand trap you on, either the Nerva or the Sun mode without knowing the contents of your hand. Because if they let the Sun Mo go through, then you get two two Beast Warrior bodies in the field, and you know what Tri Brigade can do with two Beast Warrior bodies in the field. But if they negate this and they let a Kit or Nerva go through, then you get this. Obviously, you get to search a, another any Tri Brigade monster, and then you're like one. Tri Beast away from full comboing, anyways. Where if you contrast that to Rescue Cat, if your Rescue Cat gets Ash, if your Rescue Cat gets Baited or Infirm, you don't get any additional effects out of it. You just you just lost your normal summon, basically. And the second thing is the Ancient Warrior package applies pressure when going second. In that the effect of bounce. When you summon Druga Kong, it can out a lot of problem things in the meta right now. Like, for example, you can bounce back an, an end pen before you commit to your link plays. Uh, you can also bounce back a barrier statue because, fun fact, Druga Kong is a wind monster, so you can add it to your hand and then special it under a barrier statue and then bounce back the barrier statue and then still combo afterwards. A uh, funny enough, against the Umi deck, Masterful Sun Mo is a water type, is a water attribute. Tri Brigade normally doesn't have a water attribute, so it may, so it literally just cannot do anything under her against Uyu control normally. But because this is a water monster, you can add Juga Kong to hand, and then you can summon Juga Kong as your non as your one non-water monster monster that they're allowed to control, 
And then special and then when you special summon it, you can bounce their Kairushin back to their hand, and then you're no longer under the Umi lock. So And against Brandon Despia. You you can bait out their brand in red or deny them access to a brand in red. Then when you special summon out Druga Kong and you you can bounce their fusion back to their hand. That way, the only way they can they have to trigger Alibur from Grave to negate a monster is right then and there before you commit to any link plays. So Alibur can't even negate anything important. Well, the only time I think Cat is better than Sun Mo is when Cat is your only starter, and you have no other Tri Beast cards in hand, because Sun Mo is. A full combo with any other Tri Beast card in hand besides Druga Kong, obviously. E even Sun Mo plus Mercury is a full combo. And just statistically, you're more likely to open a Tri Beast monster with your Sun Mo than not. So I, that's why I think that this is definitely the wave over running over Rescue Cat. Another way to a variant that actually does play around hand traps decently too is the bird variant, but the Leerless cards, like the engine takes up so much space, it's really hard to fit in the brand engine and stuff, and at that point it, it's like more of a Leerless deck than a Tri Brigade deck. And the there's the Scareclaw set that came out. Uh you can play that variant too. In fact we're even if we're not using any Scareclaw class, we're still using the Link one, but uh, number one, that that shit is all ultra rare, and uh, you know, your boy's kind of low on gems right now. But and two, it's it's another variant that just relies more heavily on cat actually getting some scareclaw monsters out of their deck, and you know the aforementioned weakness of cat compared to Sun Mo, and also it. The, that variant gets really strong when we get when Sprite comes out and we have access to Sprite Elf, which I'll definitely look into when we get that. But uh, it's not uh, piquing my interest as of right now. So the extra deck, all all of this stuff at the bottom is pretty standard. We only run one Farajeet and one Bear Broom. You only need one of each since the way this deck plays is. If you resolve your combo, you sh the game should be ending shortly after the next turn, you don't need to go into them again. And if you get stopped, they're gonna stop you well before you can access a Link Monster anyways. So you very rarely you ever need to summon two. And then we're running Mirror Jade and Verte obviously because they're broken. And the thing we're sending with Mirror Jade is gonna be Brickrand. Basically this card lets us add or summon a tri brigade monster during the end phase. Like Albion would have ran as well traps, but instead of with their tri brigade monsters. So Mirror Jade, it's essentially like a second revolt. You know, non-targeting banish a card, add a and then add a tri brigade monster. So it's like you can revolt on twice on your opponent's turn, which is pretty insane. And then we're running Albion. I think this is an important card to run to, to make Brand Fusion and Fallen Valbath, not bricks. Because, like, you don't. When you do your tri break combos, you don't need to go through the Verte line to send Brand Fusion. You know, if you draw these, you can just do your normal tri brigade plays and then use these as their actual cards. Like, you can use Fallen Valbath to super ball your, your opponent's board into Albion, into Beer Jade. You could. If you draw a hard draw Brand Fusion, you can do your normal tri plays, and if you get stopped, you can use Brand Infusion as a way to still end on Mirror J, which gets you a follow up after. And Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, this is a, a Tiger King. This is an exclusive card to the that were used with the Ancient Warriors engine, because both of these are level 4. So there are combo lines, mainly ones where if you open just Sunmo and Keras, you can still do full combo by going to Firefish to set a Tanky from your deck, and then Tanky you can add Fractal, and then Fractal will get you what you need, the, the full combo from there. I'll, I'll definitely include a combo video after this, after I finish recording it. 
and Scareclaw Lightheart. This is, and yeah, I cut the Doom Eagle actually, the other Link Three to fit Lightheart in. You usually, you ninety nine percent of the time, you not, do not need to go into two Link Threes. So we keep Rugo because Rugo is a tri brigade monster, so it has more versatility that way. Again, we're not running even. If we're, if you don't run any a single Scareclaw card in your main deck, it's still important to have this in the extra deck, since this is a Link One Beast Warrior, which means that now if you're Fractal Kit or Nerval, if any of them get ashed, and normally you only have one Tri Beast monster in your graveyard, you normally you wouldn't be able to do anything before, but now you could. Banish that one tri beam monster going to Scareclaw, then you have two materials on board, and then you can link those two into whatever into any link two, and then you can get your combos going that way. And also about Bertie Anacon uh, why uh, on back to playing through disruption and playing through hand fast better. By using the branded version and having access to Verte, it lets us go to a plan B much easier because our plan B is to have two monsters and make Verte you know it's it's a pretty simple simple plan but if they veil our, our tri effect and we have access to a Keras or if say Sun Bowl we discard one of these two and they decide to ash these two then we still have two bodies on the board you know so yeah I'm, up next I'm gonna have a, a couple replays showing the strength of of the ancient warrior package okay. first replay is just a quick and dirty way to show a hand where we can play through a hand trap opponent actually is desire so immediately I'm thinking there's a high chance around sword soul so I'm just gonna ash that since there's not very many good ash targets in Sword Soul anyways. And I was right. So they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna Moe reveal Moe. We're just gonna imprim that hopefully they they don't they don't got a, a long gun. So thankfully they don't. But now we're gonna normal summon Sun Mo. So so word of advice, don't do what I just do. If you specifically have the hand where you have Sunmo, Kit, and Nerval, you always pitch the Nerval first. That, that way you don't have to waste, that way you don't have to do Kit to search a Nerval and then you waste the Nerval effect in hand. You just dump Nerval at Frac, at uh, Keras and Keras dump Kit. Okay, so I do the wrong play, I dump Kit. And we get Ash in our Sunmo. Which is completely fine because we have another tri beast in hand. So Kid is gonna dump Nerval, and Nerval is gonna add us a Keras. So even though I do this play wrong, we still get the summon Nerval and then do our do our combo line into Bear Brum. And because we drew the brand infusion, you know, I can't do the do the cool banded verte plays and whatsoever, but we it's we still end on Appalooza plus a revolt. So what if we if we what if we had cat in our hand instead of Sunmo? What would happen? So our cat would have gone ashed. Then we would have to basically go into brand infusion and we would just end on a mirror jade. Instead of Appalooza Revolt. So let's see what our opponent has. They have Ecclesia and Moye. Right, so if we just had Mirror Jade on the field, we would have lost. Because Mirror Jade can't deal with two, two the, both these monsters at once. Unfortunately, since we have two interruptions, we can Revolt and get rid of their one non tuner in Moye. And now, and now they're stuck. Since they activate Ecclesia, we're just going to negate it.
and yeah. So that, that's the that's a funny situation where because we had Sunmo instead of Rescue Cat, we won the game instead of lost. And this is gonna be a replay where we sh show the versatility of Sunmo going second. Our opponent has is on Umi. They don't have Kaioshin yet, but on draw phase they're gonna flip the trap card. And then they're gonna summon out Electro Jellyfish plus Kaioshin with Umi on board. So they have the Umi lock plus in the gate. Again, if we had Cat in this hand, we would we would lose, because Fun fact, we can't summon two try two beast monsters from our deck since none of them are water. And because Sunmo is a water, we can normal summon it, enter battle phase, attack over during the gate and jellyfish. Then use Sunmo effect, discard discard the wrong one again. But this time we have called by, so it doesn't matter. So Man, these animations do take a long time, don't they? Right, we we add Druga Kong and Trigger Kit and Druga Kong. So summon Druga Kong, dump Nerval. Sun Molt will chain to the Nerval, bounce the Kairushin back to their hand, and we are no longer under Umi Lock now. Now we get to add Karis, and we and now this is a full combo. We turn these two because we can hard make double dragon lords to add a sun mo, and we're just gonna discard the sun mo that we added to summon Kara. So now we have four tri five tri beasts in the grave, so we can banish four for an omen. Banish one of their cards. Turn those two into a bear broom. Then omen will, will search us our mercurier. Bear broom's gonna discard mercurier. To bring back Kit. And then Kit is gonna banish Mercarrier plus Shurag to get Fergie. And Mercarrier is gonna trigger. And now we get the the branded uh, Albion play where we get to draw a card and then add Mercarrier back to our hand. Now we make Verte. And <laughs> put back Revolt. Just to add revolt again. Right. Put back. Foolish. And now. Because Sun Mo adding Juga Kong let us bounce back to Kaiushin to, to get us out of the Umi lock, we end on a um, Mirror Jade banish. We drew essentially two cards. We have a revolt, we have a double dragon lord, and we have a mercurial, which is in the gate because we have Mirror J on the field. So yeah. Our opponent can no, no longer do anything to win the game. I forgot how long <laughs> they actually played this whole thing out and wait for me to attack for game. <laughs> Thanks. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to be making a combo tutorial soon, basically on what you can do with with the ancient warrior cards. And if it's already up, it should be on here. Just click the screen. <laughs>